your local weather authority forecast. Temperatures are 10 to 15 degrees or more warmer compared to yesterday morning in the upper 40s and even some lower 50s in some locations. Live look at Midland, mostly clear skies. Temperatures are in the upper 40s around the Midland and Odessa area. Those temperatures will soar into the 80s but not without any consequences. Stronger winds, blowing dust, and an elevated risk of fire danger today, and especially as we head into tomorrow, and eventually, cooler weather is on its way. Now, taking a look at the bigger picture, we did notice that we had an upper level low pressure system move off to our east. Now, we have mostly clear skies. We do see that upper level low moving into the south and east, but behind it, slowly but surely, these high clouds are moving on in from the west, but they will not be producing any precipitation because of still quite a bit of dry air that we do have here in the atmosphere over the basin. Again, the bigger story will be the blowing dust and the elevated risk of fire danger. A fire weather watch in effect till 8 p.m. local time, including Hector in Midland County. And that's something that we have been dealing with because of the drought situation and strong winds at times. And when you combine that together, that's how you do get fire danger. So please be careful out there over the next few days. A high wind watch in parts of the Culberson and Eddy County areas because of, again, winds gusting really high near hurricane force wind gusts over 74 miles per hour so it's gonna be a windy day not just for today but especially for tomorrow temperatures starting off in the mid 40s warming up though in the 70s and 80s and the last time we hit 84 degrees was the day after christmas i do think we'll reach it today with a little bit more in the way of clouds and the increase and stronger winds. Still mild around 8 p.m., 73 degrees with a little bit less in the way of clouds. We do see a band of clouds moving on through, but no greens on this map because of, again, the dry air. But take a look to our north. We have some snow in New Mexico and the Rockies hinting at colder air that's not going to be spilling its way in quite yet. However, that might change as we head later tomorrow and into Friday. But low temperatures tonight above normal by as much as 5 to 10 degrees, 50 degrees. Those winds picking up from the south at 10 to 20 miles per hour, gusts over 30 miles per hour potentially. And that's just the beginning, folks. Those winds will really howl tomorrow. And we'll howl a bit this afternoon with high temperatures in the 80s, maybe some lower 90s in the trains Pecos, upper 70s in the higher elevations, 40s and 50s tonight before warmer air in the southern and eastern basin, but cooler air here in the northern and western parts of our viewing area, hinting at colder air. Those winds switching direction from the northwest. So if you guys are going to be going on a walk or a run, do it early. Later in the day, those winds will be howling, gusting over 50 miles per hour and tracking those winds for you guys. From the south today, we do notice those winds sustained from 10 to 20 miles per hour, but switching direction overnight from the west and into tomorrow with those winds indicated by those red colors will be the strongest of those winds, mostly south of I-10. So make sure you guys hold on to your hats if you have them. And that's going to be the big story for later this week with chillier air on Friday before warming back up by the weekend.